Late April, Claudia Sanchez, a 20-year-old dishwasher at the Renaissance Hotel, owned by Sunstone Hotel Investors, collapsed after working a 14-hour shift and fell into a coma. Claudia is a hard worker who had been given tough workloads by her managers, including sometimes being the only dishwasher on duty. One coworker had said that earlier in the year, Claudia began to cry when telling her about how much work that she was assigned and that Claudia had said that she had asked her manager many times for help, but he had said no. In the hours leading up to her collapse on April 29th, Claudia had finished working her regular eight hour shift and was preparing to leave when she was told that she had to go back and work overtime. About six hours later, an ambulance was called and paramedics found Claudia lying next to a car at Renaissance Hotel. She was taken to the hospital where a CT scan found a large cerebral hemorrhage. After being in a coma, Claudia is slowly recovering and fighting for her life. Claudia's family has filed a work workers compensation claim. Those of us who are here today want the Renaissance and Sunstone to do the right thing and take responsibility for this incident as a worker injury case. Ella en este momento no puede caminar por sí misma. Right now she cannot walk on her own. Ella no nos puede hablar, no nos puede decir más que algunas pocas palabras. She can't talk, she can't say more than just a few words. Ella permanece inmóvil de, de su pie, de su mano, no, 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 no nos mueve. Y se expresa que tiene mucho dolor. She remains immobile on the right side of her body and she is in great pain. Como muchos de ustedes saben, hemos presentado un reclamo de compensación para el trabajador para el, que el Renensen ha negado, pero vamos a seguir luchando por la justicia de nuestra hija. As many of you know, we filed a, a case, a workers compensation case that the Renaissance has denied. But we're going to be here and we're going to fight for our daughter until there's justice. Hoy estamos aquí enfrente del mismo hotel donde Claudia se desmayó hace cinco meses. Exigimos que el hotel Renensen y su dueño Soneston haga lo correcto y asuma la responsabilidad de las reacciones de atención médica de nuestra hija. We are here today standing in front of the Renaissance Hotel where Claudia collapsed five months ago, demanding that the Renaissance and its owners, Sunstone Investors, do the right thing and take responsibility for our daughter's medical care. Después de todo lo que ha pasado Claudia, después de todo el trabajo duro que le dio al Renaissance, nosotros sentimos lo menos que podemos pedir de ellos es que Claudia reciba la atención que necesita. Para recuperarse. After all Claudia has been through, after all the hard work she gave to the Renaissance, we feel it's the least that we can ask them to do is to take care of Claudia's medical care. A delegation of supporters headed by CLU, clergy and laity united for economic justice, entered the Renaissance Hotel to ask about Claudia Sanchez's workers' compensation status. Pam Ryan, the general manager, said. Right, it's a private matter. It's, I wouldn't expect that of anybody here, but uh, in Marriott, we take care of our people. The Renaissance Hotel workers' compensation benefits are being denied based upon, quote, our investigation that reveals there are no significant stressors on the job and there being absolutely no medical evidence that suggests that the workplace caused or aggravated the medical condition that arose on April 29th, 2015, end of quote. For more information about Claudia Sanchez and how you may help, contact Marlene Montanez, Community Organizer, area code 213-479-8200, or 
goodjobslongbeach at gmail.com. This is Marlene Alvarado, Southern Pueblo.